ਮਾਈ ਸੈਲਫ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਸੰਦੀਪ ਦੇਵਗਨ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਕਾਲਜ ਆਫ ਇੰਜੀਨੀਅਰਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਟੈਕਨੋਲੋਜੀ ਫਰੋਮ ਮਕੈਨੀਕਲ ਡਿਪਾਰਟਮੈਂਟ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਆਈ ਵੁੱਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਐਕਸਟੈਂਡ ਮਾਈ ਥੈਂਕਸ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਕੇਸੀ ਜੀਸੀ ਟੀਵੀ ਟੂ ਗਿਵ ਮੀ ਸਚ ਓਪਰਚੁਨਿਟੀ ਫॉर ਦੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਡਿਸਕਸ਼ਨ ਸੋ ਟੁਡੇ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਹੇਅਰ ਟੂ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਦੀ ਵੈਰੀ ਫੰਡਾਮੈਂਟਲ ਬੇਸਿਕ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਆਵਰ ਬੀਟੈਕ ਕੋਰਸ so our subject is fluid mechanics and the major topic of the fluid mechanics is concerned on the basis of buoyancy and flotations so first of all we have to understand what is buoyancy force and what is flotation force is so in this regard we want to know what is the basic branches or uh, umbrella terms of fluid mechanics so in this regard we have three basic uh, fundamental branches of fluid mechanics that is fluid statics second one is fluid kinematic and third third one is fluid dynamics in fluid static we have the study of fluid when the fluid is at rest positions so in kinematics we have the study of fluid when the fluid is in motion but without considering the cause of forces if we are considering the cause of forces then we have the another branch that is the fluid dynamics means for the static purpose we are studying the rest material for the kinematic and dynamic purpose we have a, uh, a fluid which which is moving or having some velocity so fir if we differentiate in the kinematics and dynamics portion the kinematic study is of uh, fluid without considering the cause of forces means it means it is the ideal fluid ideal fluid is that fluid which have doesn't have any viscosity which doesn't have any density but in the dynamic portion the forces are involved and different type of forces are introduced on the fluid and that fluid is known as real fluid so in the real fluid we have all type of forces are introduced in the that particular fluid so in fluid mechanics we have three major umbrella terms so today we are discussing about the uh, buoyancy and flotation force which is particular particular on the basis of uh, fluid kind uh, statics fluid statics we have different type of forces acting on the fluid statics that is first one is basic force which is gravitational pull gravitational force is that force which is acting on any substance when it is on a particular uh, in latent space then second one is pressure force if the force is exerted by the fluid if one molecule exert the force on the another molecule of the fluid at that fluid generate some pressure on that uh, uh, on the on the uh, surface of the force uh, molecules that force is known as pressure force in the fluid so we have only two major type of forces that is gravitational force and pressure force on the fluid in the case of fluid statics so now where is the vacancy of buoyancy force and what is it buoyancy force is the force when we have a external object inserted in a fluid means if external force external object is inserted in the fluid that's why that that generate a buoyancy force means if buoyancy force is generated in the immersed or submerged bodies now what is immersed body and submerged body immersed body is that body if uh, uh, we if the if the that body is in particular single uh, liquid if the uh, if we consider this body this is a journal ball this body is inserted in a water if this body is inserted in a water fully that means it is the fully submerged body if this if we considered this body and uh, put this body in the water but not in the uh, 100% uh, in the water we put in the partial form that means that body is in immersed positions immersed position means if we have two type of different liquids first is some some sort of water or any uh, lubricating substance and second one is water or oh, air second one is air portion that is also considered as a uh, liquid so if 
two different type of forces are inter, uh, two different type of surfaces generated in two different uh, liquids that is is immersed body so this is immersed body and this is submerged body now we have to define what is buoyancy force buoyancy force is basically equal to the water displaced by a particular body for example if we put a single this ball in a water then the fluid displaced by this body fluid displaced by this body is equal to the buoyancy force means the weight of that fluid displaced if this is inserted in a water then the this volume of the water is the buoyancy force but if this ball is inserted in a let us say in a mercury then the volume displaced by this ball is is equal to weight of mercury that is displaced by this volume means buoyancy force is different but the body is same means buoyancy force is equal to the water displaced or the liquid displaced by a particular body now what is where is the buoyancy force is acting so in this regard first of all we have to understand where is the gravitational pull is acting on this body means where is the gravity acting on this body where is the cg of this body engineering students all uh, almost knows that where is the cg of a symmetrical body if we consider this is a symmetrical body this is a spherical shape so this is a symmetrical body and the gravitational or the cg point of this body is at the particular center point of that body means the gravity point indicates the buoyancy point also buoyancy point is displaced water or displaced liquid that is the total force but the displaced volume have some also a gravity point that gravity point is the point of buoyancy buoyancy point i am again asking buoyancy point is the point where the total buoyancy force is acting where the cg of the displaced water is acting that is the buoyancy point now so in this regard we have to analysis what is the flotation 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 is the process where the fluid uh, where the body is stable or unstable by the calculation of buoyancy after that we have the calculation of meta center height so what is meta center height meta center height is the point of oscillation of body means if we consider a this body in a liquid that means if we have partial filled liquid and this body is rest at the particular manner just like this means this body has a, a, a liquid level is just at uh, touching the this level and this portion is outside in the outside of the liquid means the tiltation tiltation means angle turn by the this body angle turn by this body generate a particular distance and that particular angle which is the which is the meta center point meta center point is the oscillation point of that body means it is the distance of center of gravity to the oscillating point oscillating point the, that oscillating point and the meta center point generate a meta center height means a meta center height is the difference between the gravitational pull point and the oscillation point oscillating point that difference that length is equal to meta center height now what is the floating and unfloating bodies what are the floating bodies and what are the unfloating bodies so in this regard we have to analysis the length of meta center height if the meta center height or the meta center point is above the gravitational pull if the meta center point is above the gravitational pull that means the body is stable which is which is not going to spill off if the meta center point is below the gravity point if the meta center point is below the gravity point then the body is going to not spill that means body is unstable means the meta center point directly indicate the body is stable or unstable so in this regard 
we have some calculations also calculations of buoyancy forces calculations of meta center height these height these calculations have different type of examples in different sectors of just like a shaping and manufacturing of a big turbines big engines which is submerged in a liquid big uh, submarines uh, just like uh, uh, for example uh, emerging elements just like a ship which is uh, little bit in the uh, sea water and little bit in the air portion so that's why we have to calculate the meta center height and meta center point of all these uh, bodies because we want to know these bodies are stable or unstable so that is related to buoyancy and flotation after that we have some discussion on kinematics and dynamics in kinematic portion we have the study of moving fluid in that case we have different type of forces acting on the liquid so rest of that uh, gravitational pull and pressure force we have a another one a great force that is a viscosity force viscosity force introduced in a running fluid only not in the resting fluids means if we have a viscosity force that means the fluid is also going to run if we have not a viscous force that means we have not a motion in the fluid so what is viscous force what is viscosity if a fluid is moving that means the first layer is going to move upon the adjustment layer just like this considered this is a first layer or outer first layer of liquid means a second layer is second one this one this one is the second layer of uh, fluid if consider if we consider a pipeline and we have a pattern of fluid just like this fluid is moving means the first layer is this one which is just connected to the pipeline and internal layer is this so in this regard the outer layer is tend to tend to in the rest position they is not going to move because this is just fixed with the surface of the uh, pipe inside uh, surface of the pipe so that's why this surface is not going to move this molecules the outer layer of molecule is not going to move and the internal layer of molecule is going to move so this phenomena creates a shear stress in that fluid particular fluid means shear stress is that stress when the line of action are different means if the line of action of this external force is in another side opposite side and the line of action of the middle force is in right side that is in left side so that's why the shear stress is introduced this shear stress generate a uh, some particular viscous effect or a dullness or a uh, effect that resist the flow that resistance offered by the fluid is known as viscosity means this viscosity is a major portion or a major property of a dynamic fluid or a kinematic fluid now if we considered all the forces on the ideal fluid on the ideal fluid ideal fluid means which have no viscosity no density no uh, no any other type of pressure and uh, velocity forces that analysis is uh, on that the fluid analysis on that particular fluid which is ideal that is the kinematic study but now in dynamic study we have a least time so within 5 minute we have to conclude in a dynamic study we have different type of equations just like a euler equation a uh, renold equation a fully flow equation in a euler equation we have to use a three type of forces first is pressure force gravitational force and viscous force now renold force renold now renold equation renold number equation generate a uh, equation by the using of four different type of forces first is pressure force gravitational force uh, viscous force and last is turbulency force turbulency means if the fluid molecule is not going to uh, uh, mix with the another path that means the fluid is in laminar condition but if the two molecules are crossing their path with each other that means that is the 
turbulent fluid. So, if we consider these particular type of studies, then we have an equation that is Reynolds equation. So, last one that is fully developed fluid equation that is in the dynamic portion which considered the all five type of forces. First of all, we have pressure force, second gravitational force, velocity force, uh, uh, lin uh, laminar and turbulency force, last is uh, compressibility force. If we consider the compressibility force also included in that equation, we have a fully developed equation. So, this is the major overview of uh, fluid mechanics which have three major branches. So, uh, thank you so much for uh, particular lecture. Thank you.